Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So I grabbed another die out of my treasure box, the haul I got the other day. And this is an edgeable. It's a um delicate daisy ditzy daisy edgeable. And I'm gonna take And you can see the little registration marks. Now, I was watching Crafter's Companion this morning. I like to watch them all the time. I like to see new techniques and ideas and stuff like that. But the ones that they were doing today, this was basically on its own. And it was real easy to line up. This one is not going to be that easy to line up, unfortunately. But I am going to go ahead and put it on this card. Oh, you can still kind of see where it's going to go. I want to make sure. So I'm going to have overhang. <laughs> My flowers are going to be a little bit off. It's not going to show the whole thing. But one of the reasons I wanted to show you this is I need to run this. I want to run this through my marquee. And I cannot run it this way. It's too wide and it won't fit. So I need to run it this way. The problem is if I run it this way, then more than likely I'm going to cut both edges of my cards. And that's fine if you want to cut both edges of your card. I don't. So I dug and I only could find a long one. But what I'm doing is getting a new one. So it's not going to warp as bad and stuff. And I'm going to stick this in this way. And that's going to just have the one side get cut, right? That doesn't look straight. Mm, does it look straight? Maybe it does look straight. Okay. And then just run it through like you would anything else. You just run it straight through. No, it's a little bit thicker, a little bit harder to run through because you've got those two pieces of paper in there and it kind of warped my paper a bit. You can see it really dug in because that extra card over here just gave it extra whoa. That's really, let me see if I can. It's crooked and everything, but we're going to go ahead because my main point was to show you how this can work. Now I'm going to try... And I don't know how well it will work. I'm going to try run it back through and seeing if that helps to flatten it out. No, I don't think so. It doesn't seem to be really doing anything. So normally, of course, you'd be more careful that it doesn't slip and slide around like I didn't do. Um, should I just do it over? Blanks, are they? Oh, yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, are my colors still going to go? Probably. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay. I just want to get that out. 
as fast as I can. And bouncing it around. You're not supposed to do this, folks. They tell you not to do this. But I want to do it quickly. So here we are. Um, and now my, th my die is bent too. But... All right, I can tape it down if I want. You can tape it. I'm not sure if that will add to the warping or not. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this, I'm gonna put the back in. Right, it's gonna run along there and there we go let's try to get it on here as straight as possible I don't I could end up being really crooked again it might have been already really crooked before I sent it through but it looks crooked right You can put little markings to help you line it up. It just doesn't look straight. I'm gonna bring it as close to the edge and down a little bit. Okay. Hopefully that's pretty straight. Uh, now this doesn't want to go through. But it's got that little bend in it. It just might need... Uh, let me think. Maybe I have to run it through the same way that it already was. And I cut two pieces of paper all the time. So... I don't expect this to be difficult. And I will say that this is not a technique that I use all the time. I usually cut my edge both separate. I don't know why. Yep, I bet I had it on there crooked. I bet that's what happened. Okay. Now that can't be in there. Those pieces cannot be in there. Okay. Okay, hopefully that's straight. Something about my machine isn't feeling right. Like, okay, the machine doesn't want to take it. If it doesn't want to take it, I'm not going to force it. But you can do it. You've seen I did it. I don't know why now it doesn't want to take it. So let me go ahead and 
I wonder if this one will go. Let's see. Maybe this paper's thicker. I don't know why these little papers, they just want to stay. See, that's coming up snugger to it and everything. So this might be a little bit thinner card. Let's see if this will go through. Yep, no problem. It's about the same as the blue. I don't know what the deal is with the yellow. And it at all worked to and again it moved. So I guess I'm not getting this to work for me. Why does it move the same way as that one? So it's something with the um squishing it, I guess. Something with the squishing it. Maybe it's just this cardstock. But let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and we'll just use it another way. I use the yellow card blank and I have these two papers and I guess I need another paper. Just cut it out of this. I'll just do it the way I oh it left an imprint. Even on the side I didn't use, and that's something. Oh, I wonder if I should have used the um, blue. No, the blue would have been too much. Or the other one. What was the other color I did? Oh, when you go. Okay, okay, okay. Here I go again. Got to get all the little bits and pieces out of it. It's not going to cut right. What did I do with the thing that I was using to get it out? Okay. Let me see. So we spent, let's see, how long have I been recording? 13 minutes on something I couldn't get to work. Just got to have a thinner card blank. Maybe it was squishing it. I don't know. I've done it before. But like I said, it must have been... Thinner cardstock, so so that's not getting edited out. And if that bothers you, I'm sorry, but I do this channel with the promise that I don't edit out mistakes. I do this channel to show people that sometimes things don't work out. I mean, I'm not purposely coming in and making mistakes. I'm showing you legitimate what happens when I'm making a card or doing a card. And so, if something doesn't work, you're going to see that it doesn't work. And, um... That's the way I do it. That's why I'm here. Um, when I started doing paper crafting again, it had been so long since I had paper crafted, and there were so many new materials and tools and stuff, and everybody made it look like it was just so simple, and it all should have just been so easy, and it wasn't. And I was messing up. 
And I thought, seriously, man, can I be the only one that's messing up? And, um... So I thought I would start my channel. Now I'm going to show this. Because this was one layer of paper, right? But look what it did. And look. Look how that matches that. And matches the first one. So there's something about this die. I don't know how. I don't know how it can be the die doing it. But there's something about the die doing it. I mean, whatever that reason, whatever, whatever, I don't know. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to try to cut it pretty straight so that I can get it on straight. Right? So I'm going to glue this down and it's pretty. It's very pretty, but it's crooked. <laughs> I mean, something, I don't know what to do with it. I don't know, but it is. It is crooked. Okay, and I want... I think I'm going to use this back behind here. This will go behind here. And this will go on top here to cover that up. And then we will have like a little piece of lace. That's all we want, right? Just a little piece of lace. So I'm going to do my paper cutter. And this is six inches. I know that. And I'm going to do a little bit less. Okay, first I want to do the length. Because that's going to leave me the biggest piece. So, lengthwise... I'm gonna go uh, about an inch and a half, and I'm gonna go with this this end here. So an inch and a half. Just because I like that um, color there. An inch and a half by six inches. And I thought that went to six, but it doesn't. So we're going to come over and we're going to go to six inches and trim. And so now this will just get glued on here, but I think I want this at the top. The more colorful piece there. So I need more glue here. This is the fine glue, but that's, that's fine. <laughs> and so I'm just going to put this on. It's not fine glue, it's fine tip. This is why when I was doing those boxes, my score lines were messed up because I do things like glue on it. <laughs> okay, and then this is going to go down and here, like that. So I'm going to put glue here. I'm going to put glue here, and now I'm just going to add little dots all around, just getting little dots to hold it on. They don't have to be everywhere. Uh, so I'm going to 
edge it on the edges. And here we go. Oop. Trying to get it as even as possible. As straight as possible. And it needs to come up. Okay, that's a good thing about this glue. You can definitely move it a little bit. You have movability. You have time for that. Okay, so I don't know what you think about how that looks. But now, I'm going to come in with this. And now this is really going to have to fit right. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to do a little measurement. I'm going to say it needs to be... Three, mm, a little bit less. Two, and that's a half, two and a half. The notch right past two and a half by six. So the notch passed two and a half. By six. So this will come over here. There. So I'll get my glue. Glue this on. This is my favorite way to do these vegetables, anyways. Honestly, I never did really get into doing the edges, but I just thought for a change it would be nice. But I always like the way this turns out this way. When I do it this way, it always looks so good. That didn't go on very straight, so I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna use these edges in the corners. And then I can come and trim using the card as my guide. Just be careful you don't cut the actual card itself. And then I can take, there's little pieces here still kind of too big. Okay. Then I need some kind of embellishment.
How's that? I think I'm going to go with it. I think. I'm kind of liking it. So. It's not great, but. I wasn't so sure I was getting this far. <laughs> I might have chose some different colors, but it's still okay. But I went way down, didn't it? <laughs> See what happens when you push? I didn't mean it to do all that. I didn't mean for this to fall that much. There we go, let's just give it some life back. There we go. This was the one that's supposed to all layer into one, and I used it to make two. Um, I need a sentiment. I just saved that. I'll save the sentiment for later, but there we go. It's a sweet little card. I liked it even just by itself. I could have just put a sentiment in here and I'd have been happy with it, but you know, give you something to think about what you could do with it. All right, everybody. So if you like my channel, please hit the like and subscribe. Um, I do want to say when I sent the emails for the swap, I forgot to send my address, so I will be emailing my address to the SWAT participants to add on to that. Um, also, it's not too late if you want to join the SWAP. Go back and look at the fall SWAP videos and just email me that you want to be in the SWAP and I will email you back the written instructions for the SWAP. Alright, um, my email address is L-O-R-I-M-C-N, nope, that's not it, it's L-O-R-I-S-D-I-Y-I-N-G-L-I-F-E at gmail.com, there it is written down. All right, everybody. Um, everybody have a great day. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now.